It has been a while, but I think it's finally time for System Test 36 on the ADT Unimode 10UD Fire Alarm Demonstration Board. In the last system test on the Voice Evacuation Fire Alarm Demonstration Board, we had some simplex fire alarms, and I thought I'd carry that theme over to today's system test with the ADT Unimode 10UD. So we have plenty of simplex fire alarms to test out today. This right here is the Simplex True Alert. It is a 4903-9426. It's the special Smart Sync optional version with the switch inside where you can switch it between Smart Sync and Free Run. And then going to the right, we have the iconic Simplex 2901-9833 horn with a 2903-9101 strobe plate setup. And I say that it's the iconic setup just because you usually can find this horn with this strobe plate very, very frequently. Simplex was really cool back in the day and they designed these old alarms so that you can interchange the horns inside of them. Or even you could change it to a light plate if you wanted to, if you had the parts. But anyways, you could find any other horn that can fit in there on the inside. So for example, this right here is a Simplex 2901-9806. You could find this horn on the inside if you wanted to. But today we do have the Simplex 2901-9833 horn on the inside, which is probably the most common setup. And yes, some of you might point out that it is mounted on a double gang back box. You usually don't want to do that with these older alarms because if you look in the back, you have to leave some room unscrewed so that the wires can fit inside the back box without being scrunched. However, Today, that's just how it's going to be. Um, I did leave room though so the wires aren't going to be scrunched or squished together. Uh, but you usually do want a back box like this on the back of those alarms. Anyway, for pull stations today, we have two modern ones. On the left is a Simplex 499-9021 addressable ADA friendly pull station. And what I mean by that is they designed the T-handle on this model to easily be able to be activated even if you don't have fingers. For example, I have a fist here and I can still easily reach in and pull the lever down if I needed to. It's very important for every person, regardless of their physical situation, to still be able to activate the fire alarm system if they suspect an emergency. The major downside for pull stations that are easily activated is if something like a ball were thrown at just the right angle, it could easily land on the lever and activate the pull station and create a false alarm. And that is why this pull station is great for some applications and not as great for other applications. And that's why Simplex makes multiple models. For example, over here is a Simplex 499-9006 addressable pull station. It's the same thing as this other pull station, but it's dual action and it doesn't have that special lever. So just like most pull stations on this one, you push in and you pull down to activate it, which we will do momentarily. One more thing about the system today, it is set on two stage. So in complex or large building setups, having a system set on two stage can be a great idea. Sometimes, Evacuating an entire building based on one signal all at the same time without any time to prepare can be almost unsafe, depending on how many people are within the facility. So two-stage was invented to kind of help that whole process uh, in these complex environments. So for example, you can activate a pull station and it will put the system into the first stage. It's called the alert stage. And the whole goal behind that is to alert key personnel within the building, such as fire wardens, to one, investigate the cause of the alarm and find out if it's a false alarm, and two, prepare and get ready for a wide-scale evacuation. If no false alarm is found within, well, right now I have it set on three minutes, but within the specified amount of time, then the system will automatically go into the second stage. And in the second stage, the alarms will change tones and signal the full evacuation is necessary. So it kind of just helps the evacuation process go a little smoother. And obviously these different stages can be programmed differently and, and SOPs can be, differently, can be different depending on the complex and the building and, 
and how the system is programmed and the, de the devices they have and the layout and all the things. But uh, today I have the system set on two stage three minutes. So we'll pull the device, it'll sound a slower tone for the first three minutes and then automatically after three minutes the tones will change. Without further ado, it's time to activate the fire alarm system on two stage. Here we go. A few moments later I decided to set the true alert to non silenceable so that you could hear it a little better when I silenced the other alarm. For this next test, I've changed the coding around so that the true alert is now on code three and the strobe plate is now on march time. Here we go. Push, pull down. Don't know what happened there. One of the prongs probably got loose when I was pushing it in. <laughs> All right, I think that's gonna be enough system testing for today. Please check out some of my other videos if you found any of this entertaining or interesting. And also please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day. Mm -hmm.